What's up guys, we are here at Bergen County Harley-Davidson. We're gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, nice little review today with the 2022 Street Glide Special. Now, I wanted to put it next to the uh, regular Street Glide Standard, give you guys a nice comparison, what makes the bike a lot different from the Standard. Because I know a lot of you guys out there are asking, well, you know what, there's a big price difference. What is it that makes this so bike special uh, compared to the Standard? Um, we're gonna go over all the different components that it comes with, and I am here, with the man, the myth, the legend, Sergio. <laughs> we were here actually last night because it was bike night here, amazing. So that if you're watching this video already, then that video should be up already. So definitely check that out, amazing night. So Sergio's the one who puts everything together, um, brings all the all the companies out here. And all of our vendors, food trucks. food trucks, local sponsors, everything. Awesome. People so. like you. People like me too. And then in August we have what the... So we got a couple things going on. We have a scavenger hunt um, the week of the 6th, which is pretty cool. You come down on your bikes, you go out with a bunch of friends, you can get pictures of stuff, come back to win um, a $500 shopping spree in store. Um, and then our bikini bike wash, we actually brought it back. Um, we got some new girls coming in. We're really excited for it. That's gonna be August 20th from 12 nice. to three in the parking lot. Don't want to miss it. Uh, I'm going to be here for that one as well. I want to get my bike washed. For sure. Let's hop right into it. So right here we have the Street Glide Special right behind me. This one comes with the blacked out trim. Obviously now after 2021, 2022, the Harley Davidson gives you two options. So you get either get the Special, chromed out, or all blacked out. Like this is here. Before the Special only came out the black trim. Um, and then if you want to chrome, then you had the standard right there right behind us. Those were your only two options. So now we're actually, we're actually getting a lot more options. So we'll start with the front, the front fairing right here. Um, we got the bat wing fairing, really, really nice. And just before we get into this, because I know I have and I ride a road glide and people think that I just, I don't like the street glide. I actually love the street glide. I think it's, it's an amazing bike. It's um, something special about it. Um, and from what I've been hearing uh, from you guys, I look better on a street glide, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, so with the special, you're gonna have the whole infotainment system here, the whole bad wing, the interior of it, the inside right here. It's gonna be all gloss as opposed to the standard that comes with that matte black. I honestly love the gloss look right here. Um, I think it gives the bike a much more cleaner look, uh, more upscale look at that. Um, you're also gonna have the new redesigned dash. Well, it, it was in 2021 the way redesigned the dash right here, the tank dash. So a lot sleeker. You're gonna have that uh, your gas tank cap on the right side, as opposed to the uh, the standard, which comes with it right in the middle. Um, this to me just it looks much cleaner. Has a street glide logo right there in the middle. Um, the badging on here is also gonna be different, uh, much cleaner. Um, just makes everything stand out a lot more. Now headed down to the air cleaner right here. We got this heavy breather air cleaner right here with the, with the 114 right here. On the standard, you're gonna have the 107. So as far as performance wise, obviously you're gonna get a lot more power on this bike. Um, you're gonna be pushing around 118 foot pounds of torque. So it's definitely a, um, a bike that's gonna, it's gonna move. Um, and these bikes are really heavy. So definitely gonna want more power on this. Um, like I said, Everything here is gonna be all black dots. So you're gonna have your, your head, your, your primary cover on the other side, your tranny cover here, your pipes, everything is all blacked out. No chrome. If you do want chrome, like I said, you also can get the option of getting this bike special in chrome, like I have my Rogue Glide, uh, also with the chromed out version. Um, on here, you're gonna have the um, chop front crash bar. Um, and on the standard, you're gonna have a, a bigger crash bar. This looks much uh, cleaner much sleeker. Um, you're gonna have Brembo brakes on this bike, um, in the front and rear, um, also with the link braking, which kinda uh, acts like a, a balance, so whenever you're applying too much pressure, too much brake pressure in either the front or the back, um, it's gonna keep you from locking, you know, locking your rear wheel and just balancing out that brake, giving it the proper pressure where, where it should be. Um, most of these bikes now, they pretty come standard with uh, RDRS, uh, which is great. So I think that that should be its own little video. I kind of want to do a video talking about RDRS and it's just like so much stuff that goes into that, that system. Making our way to the back right here, we have these stretch bags right here. Um, me personally, I, I personally like the shorter bags on the standard just because I like to rock a two and a one, even though I can't do that on mine because I have to stretch bags and I had to go with two. Um, 
and it just if you want to do a two in one it just looks funny to me i don't know it's just yeah but i prefer the shorter bags on there it looks really really nice i'm gonna have the led daymaker light here in the front which looks amazing about time harley davis and Zars front and led headlights on these bikes so after 2021 they started doing it on the uh on the street lives uh road lives already had it um and then the front wheel, you got to have a 19-inch wheel in the front, 18-inch wheel in the back. Um, really beautiful wheel design. You're going to have the Prodigy wheels on here and then the Enforcer wheels on the standard right here. Um, now, as far as LED turn signals, this one here comes with it because uh, Bergen added them on to the front and the back. But initially, from factory, they, um, no, they don't come with LED turn signals. Um, Harley Davidson, we should be putting LED turn signals on all bikes now. Those are basically pretty much the the big, huge components that make these bikes different. As far as the riding triangle and everything else, it's the same exact bike, same uh, gas tank, got a six gallon gas tank on here, um, same seat, uh, everything is just the same as far as cosmetic uh, goes, um, and both beautiful options. Now, just to answer the question, because I know a lot of you guys are asking, all right, well, these are all the things that make everything different. Um, obviously price point um, is going to play a big role here because that's at the end of the day you're going to you got you want to know how much you're going to be paying you're honestly going to be paying like a good maybe sixty five dollars more to get this bike over the standard on a monthly basis to be honest it's, it's, it's not that much of a difference so when you're talking about power when you're talking about looks and different aspects that this bike is going to have I, I honestly think that this bike is going to be the best option the best uh you got a lot of bike for your bike on this one. Um, it just it has everything that you're gonna want. You know, I think we had enough talking in here. Then we're gonna go take the bikes out on the road. Keep talking about them. Let's talk about the riding. Let's talk about how it feels. Let's talk about the wind feels on you and all the rest of the components that this bike has to offer. All right, so I'm gonna be in the special. Sergio is gonna be on the standard. Gonna take a nice little loop around the area. Talk about everything on the bike and about the bike as well. I gotta, I, I gotta honestly say, like this is this is so much sleeker and more. I don't know, just more. It comes so well compact together as opposed to my Rogue Glide. It just, it feels smaller. It feels more manageable. I don't know. It just, it feels like like I can handle this bike a bit more. And the Rogue Glide is so much bigger, where it's like, whoa, kind of not. It's not intimidating, but this just feels like. I'm on the bike. The road glide feels like I'm in the bike. If that makes any sense. Anyways, let's go. This bike uh, does have the Screaming Eagle um, slip-ons that Bergen put on. So they put the slip-ons and they put on the LED turn signals everywhere as well. Has a nice little purr to it. Feels great. Yeah, there's, there's something about the street glide, guys. Uh, it just, I, I feel like I could just manage this bike a lot more easier than I can with the road glide just because of the size of the fairing. I was mentioning it before, you're gonna have the gloss inner fairing right here. And on the, uh, on the standard, you're gonna have that matte black. So, you know, if you're gonna be on this bike for, you know, long trips, um, you know thousands of miles you want to be looking at something that's really nice um these bikes are long-term purchases well at least they are for most of us so you know you, you want to make sure that you get what you want the last thing or the least thing you want to do is get a bike and then to say oh like damn it i should have got the other one but you know i i didn't i didn't want to cough up the extra 50 60 bucks or whatever and you know now, now you're here spending even more money out of your pocket to make this bike look like the one you originally wanted so i always tell people that you know anytime you're you know when, when you're comparing both bikes like this know what you want first you you always want to know what you want first of all what bike you want what you want in that bike and if what you want now is gonna be the same thing that you're gonna be wanting a few years down the line now as far as riding triangle this is very very similar to my road glide same uh frame so nothing different there what is different is the bar setup so this stock bar setup on the street glide 
is honestly to me more comfortable and better than the road glide. Than the road glide, you kind of got the like, kind of like the beach barrel kind of uh, uh, bars, and it just feels weird. These for being stock bars, they feel actually a lot more comfortable. Um, but bars are bars, and we always change our bars. I change our bars on all my bikes, um, and on this, I, I would definitely change out the bars. But stock wise, it feels very great. Um, very comfortable i got a you know like a nice slight bend to my elbow right here so i'm definitely in a nice comfortable position um the stock seat i mean it's a stock seat guys there's just something much you can say about a stock seat it's, it's comfortable for around the town but if you're going to be crushing those you know those long miles you definitely want to get something a little bit better um something with a little bit more back support like a step-up seat um i love this man look at this it's so clean I mean the, the standard with, with with the gas cap right there in the middle and and it's bulkier it's just the, this looks much cleaner and sleeker i'm really happy that they uh decided to change that on the specials the gauges right here right in front of me are literally right in my face real easy to see i have a lot of access to everything that's right in front of me easy access to that touch screen uh right here in front of me as well um, I do have a little pocket right here, which I could can't really store anything, but <laughs> that's where like, you know, the roguelite kind of has this beat. <laughs> it's because, you know, the roguelite has that um, compartment on the right side of the compartment on the left side of the fairing. And I'm able to store my phones or my wallet, glasses, anything I want, keys, throw it in there. This, uh, this doesn't, this just has a, yeah, just a charger. A US, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> now, as far as, uh, mirrors go these are pretty good they adjust they're like out of the way they're you know they're good i like them now going back to what i was saying before like that i've been getting so many comments and especially on the uh videos that i did with the uh, street glide st um pe people think or they keep telling me they're like hey listen you, you you look way better on a street glide you should get a street glide the street glide suits you better and I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Now, when it comes to me, you know, flat foot in this bike, um, I don't have any issues with it. I'm around 5'7", and I'm able to flat foot this bike. We'll stop right here, show you guys. So, for you shorter riders, you're good. I also have boots on, no sneakers, so I have uh, an extra half inch to an inch bump right there as well, but really comfortable. I gotta say, these slip-ons sound pretty nice. Now, when it comes to the controls and everything, it's gonna be your normal Harley Davidson controls, guys. You're gonna have your on and off switch here on the right, your power button, your dual turn signals, your right turn signals, um, your go back button for the screen. Um, this toggle right here helps you navigate around the screen as well. On the left side, you're gonna have your traction control button, your horn, um, high beam, low beam, left turn signals, um, uh, volume and your volume button here for your music or to skip and then your cruise control so this bike does come equipped with cruise control from factory angle really good on here really easy bike to maneuver around great on the turns and the loops good clearance so when it comes to the wind deflection um, the bike does really good. You know, it does its job. It's a touring bike. It's made for that. It's for, it's for you know, going across country, hopping from state to state. It's made for those high miles, those high speeds. So it does its job. Now, when it comes to deflection, let's say compared to the Road Glide, because I know you guys are going to be asking that, how does this bike do compared to the Road Glide when it comes to wind deflection? Um, it, it's it's not much of a difference, guys. It's really, really not much of a difference. I think with the Road Glide, you might get just a little bit more just because of how big and different that fairing is, that shark nose fairing is just, it, it might cover a little bit more of that wind protection but 
this does this is fine man i do find it that with the stock shield on here at high speeds you do get a little bit of wind buffet in right now you know we're not hitting high speeds but i have before on uh, other street glides and you do get a little bit of buffeting on the top of your helmet but that's an easy fix you know everybody most of the time switches out the stock windshield anyways get something a little taller and that thing will just loop right over you now another thing that this bike also comes equipped with being that is a torn model is abs so standard abs standard cruise control um you got your uh standard rdrs now um just a lot of stuff a lot of tech on these bikes now um you got bluetooth on here as well you got your gps that you can use you have music you have just a ton of stuff nice little gps screen right here overall the bike rides great um i personally love street glides i would definitely see myself owning a street glide one day hey maybe if i want to go from uh shark gang to the batwing gang one day you know that might be it might, might be a possibility right now i love my road glide so no you can't expect that right now but this bike handles great man it just uh, just going back to what i was saying before like it, it feels like i'm on top of the bike it doesn't feel like i'm in the bike and when you have that type of feeling it just it just makes you feel more confident as a rider it makes you feel like you're able to handle the bike and just toss it a bit more it feels great back at bergen so guys if you are in the local area stop by say what's up if you're looking for a bike hit up sergio tell him i sent you tell him you're here to buy a street glide or whatever else is it that you want to buy these guys are great here man they're really welcoming um and it's a nice little selection of bikes on the shop floor for you to pick from so you can go ahead take a walk around and see what you like you know what i kind of want to get sergio's take on everything real quick you took the bike out what do you think it's actually really nice it's smooth um more comfortable the engine's quieter you know what i mean like it's not i feel like with the older bikes there was a lot of vibration yeah i mean the, the Milwaukee eights are they're a lot more smoother they're quieter it's hot today like it yeah didn't bother me at all, so yeah nice. um i mean you recently just got a dyna so congrats Thank you. so you're back on a dyna again but we're obviously all pushing you to get a bagger soon <laughs> now are you are you leaning towards more street glide or road glide probably a street glide or a low rider sd Ooh, that's the way you think there you go man amazing ride um like i was saying before guys if you're in the local area check out bergen harley davidson great people great guys come ask sergio tell him i sent you there's a huge selection of used bikes upstairs so if you are looking for a used bike you have that option and then we obviously have a bunch of new bikes on the showroom floor um a little bit of everything that's it and catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.